Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I will be sharing with you how to understand quantum physics and then kind of cross apply it into what we call the law of attraction so that we can really apply it and know it from a much deeper level. Now quantum physics is something that we're learning more about just like every day there's always more science coming out about it and in this video I want to talk about a couple experiments that kind of show the effect that our thoughts have on the experience of what we you know kind of experience and that's going to include what is called the double slit experiment. Now the double slit experiment was done back all the way in 1909 and what they found was that if you get a particle of light and you shoot it through an opening that it has a certain effect it just goes through but if you put two openings there and you put that particle of light or the electron through those what happens is is based upon the scientist that is observing it that will affect the outcome of how the particle goes through and whether it turns into a wave or not so it's almost like as the scientist has the awareness or the observation of knowing the possibility of both separate slits, it then affects the results of what happens. Now they went back or forward into 1998 and there were scientists that found that whether we focus on one or the other, we can influence which one it goes through based upon how much we focus on it. Now how can we apply that in towards understanding the law of attraction. Well, under the law of attraction, the idea is that if we focus on what we want, we will bring it more into our life experience. Now, a lot of what I share on this video and my videos that I do is how feelings are tied into that, how focused and how much important that is, but it's about really understanding that when we focus on something, what we are doing is we are creating more of the experience of that and if we can align our feelings to it, we then start to embody more of that. So sometimes people might have something they're focused on, but if they don't believe they're worthy of it or that they can even experience it, many times they'll build resistance in their body and that feeling of resistance many times will keep what they want to experience away from them. Now the idea behind this is knowing that the more we focus on something, the more it will grow. And if we learn how to tailor our thoughts towards what we want and at the same time put in a feeling of presence, a feeling of allowing, a feeling of already having what we want to attract, we then increase the probabilities of us actually experiencing it or even perceiving it. The idea behind the fundamental base of this is that all we have to do is get to a place to where we're able to perceive it and then we will. It's the idea of resonance versus trying to get something that's outside of us and bring it in. It's more about how can we make the invisible visible by getting to this state or what we could perceive and what we are focused on. So balancing those out. Now another uh, example I want to show you is by Dr. Uh, I think Mary Moto, where he talks about, and he passed away recently, but what he talks about is understanding the effect that we have on water. So what they did for this experiment, and this has been replicated many, many times before, is that if you get some water and what you do is you put intention into it, maybe the intention or the emotion of love, maybe the emotion of hate, the emotion of jealousy, or whatever it is, if you put that intention to each of them and then you crystallize the water molecules, they crystallize in a certain way. Now this one will be the uh, crystallization of love, then I'll show you the crystallization of hate or uh, different emotions and they'll show you how they form based upon that intention, that thought that we have that we put into it. They found that even just putting the words on the front of it and my idea behind that is that when you put the 
the words on top of the uh, labeling, then when people looking at it, those people looking at it are influencing it based upon what that word means, and then that is what is affecting the water molecules and the crystallization of it. Now, the idea behind this is that our bodies are over 70% water, and that based upon our thoughts, that is influencing our body in a very powerful way, and that's why thinking in a certain way has a certain effect on our body. So if we start to feel positive emotions, that will affect us in a positive way, and they've shown many times before that there is an effect with our emotions and our health. So if we feel negative emotion, we feel anger, we feel like we're mad and in negativity, there's more of a likelihood that that will make us sick. But if we learn how to switch ourselves around by not being attached to those ideologies that hold us down, then what we learn how to do is to let it go, to realize that it's not who we are, then we can start to think in the way that we want. So the idea behind these two examples of understanding quantum physics or how thought can influence our reality is simply knowing that the act of us observing something is influencing it a Alone. So maybe ask yourself the question, what are you primarily thinking about? Are you thinking of your goals? Are you thinking of your goals like you already have them right now in this moment? Or are you feeling the lack of them now and therefore creating resistance in your body so that it's less likely that you will perceive of it? And remember, it's more about getting to the resonance of what you want to experience by knowing that you already have it, that everything exists here and now, and it's just a matter of perception and believing that it's something you're worthy of and then taking the physical action to actually see it. So those are just Two examples. I'll do more videos on this in the future, but I just wanted to kind of intermingle the ideas of quantum physics to the law of attraction and towards understanding it at a much deeper level. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you guys on the next vid. Peace, much love, namaste, high five.